and let's take uh, this, this, this lady in the front row here. And First Minister, um, and uh, well, I'd like to ask you both a question. Firstly, I'd like to say, do you think your perceived obsession with independence might actually cost you your seat in this election? And secondly, I'd like to ask the NHS. You say that you've ploughed millions into it. I'm a nurse who I can't manage on the salary I have. I have to go to food banks. I am struggling to pay bills. I want you to explain to me, if you know one area that any of that money's gone, and can you tell me, because I can absolutely assure you, nurses are seeing none of it on the, on the ground floor. Now, we're, we're, we are going to get to discussing the health service um, later in the programme. Let's, 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 let's take in the audience before we go back to any of our panelists. There's a gentleman in a blue jumper in the second row. Yeah, uh, Nicholas Sturgeon, your paper last year showed that there were 17,000 additional tax rate pairs in Scotland. And I think your paper estimated you'd raise £50 million. What would that do to a budget deficit of £15 billion? Well, that, that paper actually said we could potentially lose money if we didn't have that power was one of tax four options avoidance. The paper that your I, own advisors wrote. The, the point of th this is, is you know, Ruth, Ruth talks a lot of nonsense about Scotland being the highest tax part of the UK. We're not giving higher rate taxpayers uh, a tax cut, which means that they're paying not more than they pay just now, but more than a counterpart in England to the tune of about seven uh, pounds a week. That's less than the cost of a single NHS prescription. Your prescriptions are free in Scotland, you have to pay them in England. If you have young people going to university here, you don't have to pay £27,000 of tuition fees. If you've got an elderly parent needing care, you get free personal in nursing care. Actually, taxpayers in Scotland have the best deal of taxpayers anywhere in the UK because of and the policies Scotland, of the Scottish Government. Nicola Sturgeon he heard this woman in the front row here, this nurse, tell her that she has to go to a food bank because she doesn't have enough money. Nicola Sturgeon, you voted against a pay increase for nurses less than That's, 10 days ago. Just Why on earth would you not ask the richest people in society to pay more tax that to make sure just that nurse can get the pay true. rise that she deserves? You know that's not true, Kezia. And you did you vote also, against it. You did vote against it. You also know that because of the policies of the Scottish Government, uh, a newly qualified nurse in Scotland is paid more than a newly qualified nurse more, in England. Less somebody, than should do. somebody, a starting salary in the NHS is paid a thousand pounds more in Scotland her family. than in England. But the, she can't feed her family. But what I've also said is that the pay freeze that's been in place because of Tory austerity being imposed it's is not fault. sustainable it's, it's for fault. the future. And you know, the SNP government have done what governments south of the border haven't done. We have always accepted the recommendations of the NHS pay review body, and we always will, because that's the right thing to do for let NHS staff. Take. Well, let's, let's, let's go back take. to the, the, the nurse in the front row who introduced this topic. What do you think of what you've heard there? They don't seem to be listening. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of nurse positions unfilled. And the reason of that is because it's such low paid. People can't, it's just not a sustainable, it's not a sustainable income. We can't live on it. Can I, can I, because I, I've got a lot of sympathy with what you're saying. We've had in the public sector, not just in the NHS in the last few years, a 1% uh, pay cap. Now, the reason for that has been austerity policy, so we've tried to protect jobs in the NHS and the wider public sector. Now, when inflation was pretty close to zero, that was one thing. But as I said a moment ago, inflation is now rising. So I am absolutely clear that that pay freeze, that pay cap, is not sustainable moving forward. So we need to work with trade unions and negotiate with trade unions for fair pay, not just in the NHS, but across the public sector. And that, I think, is the difference between the Scottish Government under the SNP and a Westminster Government under the Tories. We do listen to what our public sector workers are saying, and we seek to act on what our public sector workers are saying, because we value those who work in the public sector. Now, we haven't actually... We have not heard from David how Coburn or Patrick years? How many Harvey years have we had 1%? How I accept that. How many? Tell me how many. For too many. I accept that. How many? That. 
Uh, we've had it since about 2008. Exactly. I accept that. 2008, so what, you haven't we, given, there's no pay rise. How do you expect somebody I'm to live on that? that? We are now having to strike. Do you think that's what nurses is going to nursing for? I, I'm telling you now, I would rather leave nursing, as would many more of my colleagues, than have to strike, because you have no idea how demoralizing it is to, to work within the, within the NHS. Don't come on your announced visits. Come in on the middle of any day into any ward, any A&E department. Come on in and see what we're up against. My, 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 my sister works in the National Health Service. My, my, my sister works in the National Health Service, so believe me, uh, she tells me exactly what she thinks uh, about uh, those matters. But if you listen to me, I'm actually agreeing with you. We've had a really difficult period with public spending, so we've had that policy in place. We've also, in Scotland, unlike in the rest of the UK, had a policy of no compulsory redundancies in the NHS and the wider public sector to try to protect jobs. That's why you know, there have been many people in the NHS in England lost their jobs. That hasn't happened in Scotland. But as we see inflation rising, that policy is no longer sustainable. I accept that. I also think the freeze on benefits is no longer sustainable because one of the biggest issues in this election campaign that has not been talked about enough is the fact that more and more people are being pushed into poverty. And well, I'm determined right, well, that the SNP will tackle that. Let's stay on the topic that. we're on at the moment. And the audience are very keen to come in. So let's take the chap in the blue shirt here. We'll come to you in a moment, David. But let's take a contribution for it right on the floor here.